Hi everyone, I want to share another project. Once again, I worked with fabric and lace. I love doing it. I really got addicted to it. And my next project is this mitten, vintage mitten Christmas bunting banner. Um, I will show you what I did. I used to hang the mittens on. <laughs> yeah, Suki. Opa! To hang the mittens on, I used this lace and I covered it with another lace. It's, this is the original one. I dyed it with vintage photo and layered it to give it some more stability. Between each mittens, I used the rosette trim with one of these connector, which I can't find for, for the moment. I used a connector doily and a small bling in the middle and I made some tassels with lace of which again this is actually the same lace as here only I cut it in half like this and dyed it then with vintage photo and I used then some fibers like this one over here and the same lace here again as here and that's in between each mitten this is my first little mitten i knitted this one again with the fibers and glued it on top of the mitten and decorated it with a vintage picture that i printed off in ca on canvas in the back you see a little of cheesecloth decorated it with some lace also dyed everything is dyed with vintage photo to give it an older look and to make it match better with the fabric which is a satin and lace at the side a bow with some ruffle trim This is doil, two, doil, two half doilies folded and this is actually this lace over here. This is this piece and the branch that you see over here is this one here. Cut it separately and used it to side the first picture of the mitten and then some vintage buttons. And here as well with another little bling and some pearl stars. Then we go to the next rosette. This is the second mitten. Again a vintage picture printed on canvas with some cheesecloth underneath. A flower with a bling in the middle, some pearls, again that lace. This flower is originally as well, this is the original color. As you see it was yellow. A spiral, then I made a bow, which I turned a bit over here and put it aside to the picture. Getting some vintage buttons. And more cheesecloth underneath. Also dyed with vintage photo. This is the next tassel. My fourth mitten. Another vintage picture printed on canvas. An applique flower which again was originally yellow like this place the vintage button in the middle some bling and some pearls here and there and at the side I use some applique trim which is this one over here hope you can see it and 
again on top a bowl with lace that I dyed with vintage photo and then again some pearl stars. And last but not least my fourth mitten. Again vintage picture printed on canvas. This is one of those connector pieces over here that I dyed. A bow with a pearl star cheesecloth around the picture and small applique flowers and again the connector with two little blings in the middle there this is it i don't think you we will be able to catch it So this is my mitten bunting banner. Had really fun making it. The pattern of the mitten is an actual template I found on the internet. And it's easy, the base, as I said before, is satin and lace. And so this is it. I hope you like my new project and thanks for watching. Bye.